Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. We're going to be having a look at a new release today called Stardrop by an independent developer called Yure Fisser. Hope I got that right. Stardrop is available on Steam and there's also a demo available through Steam if you'd like to try it for yourself before you buy it. Hey, Eric, come in. You reading me? Good morning, John. Uh, don't know if you looked outside, but we're in space. There are no mornings in space. It feels like it's morning to me. Right. Well, I'm about to dock the station. You got your pants on? I just finished changing. I still need to check for any available missions. All right. Take your time. I'll wait for you at the docks once I'm done, enjoying my cafe latte. You're such a hipster. Ooh, 21st century pop culture reference. Nice! That's what happens being around you all the time. Alright, I'm heading for the SRO interface now. Okay, so I've got control. Have a bit of a look around. Very nice. I really like uh, the layout. Lovely picture of Earth. A cupboard. With a fish. <laughs> a red fish. Yay, I've got a red fish. Oh, it's even, it's even an achievement. Okay, some stuff I can't interact with. This door seems to be locked, probably someone else's quarters, of course. I've got another cupboard here. Okay, some sunnies I can't actually wear. Uh, looks like some booze, maybe. A picture of me and I guess my buddy that I'm talking to. And some pillows I can't do anything with. Okay, what do we got? Oh, and I can turn it around. Coffee maker. Okay, a save station. Might as well. Haven't really done anything yet, but you never can be too careful. Okay, a couple of computers that aren't on, and one that is. Salvage and Rescue Active Listings. We have a file name SD01, Inspect and Salvage Unknown Ship. 
Unknown ship located near Cassiopeia constellation. Ship ID unknown, ship status unknown, no response to hailing, no further information available. John, come in. Okay. Seems there's only one available mission right now. Guess it's a slow day today. It's a salvage job. Unknown ship. No ID, status unknown, and it didn't respond to hailing either. It's been discovered somewhere in the Cassiopeia constellation. Interesting. I wonder how it got there. Eh. Let's go find out then. Copy that. You can head up to the docks when you're done. I'm docked at gate 24. do seem to be moving really slowly. I can run, it looks like. Yeah, there we go. I guess that's a bit of realism. Some kind of Hall of Remembrance, it looks like. I guess it's uh, a listing of all the people who backed um, the game project. Okay, and here we are. Let's see. Departures. That looks about right. Okay. Hey, John. What do you think we'll find on board that ship? Uh, I have no clue. Your guess is as good as mine. I mean, we literally know nothing about it. All I can gather from the reports is that it has to be old. I mean, no recent ships have been reported missing from this region. You know, maybe it's a pioneering vessel. It got lost or broke down. That would be amazing. It would. But it's a long shot. There are still numerous ships out there that haven't been recovered. Ships that we even we don't know about. Looks like another save point. I might as well. Now, I think I need gate 24 from that sign. Ship.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. We're currently crossing the Cassiopeia constellation and we'll be reaching our destination shortly. I hope you've enjoyed your flight with us today. If you look out to your left, you'll see space. If you look to the right of the plane, you'll also see space. Very funny, John. I know, I know, I crack you up. But yeah, you need to get yourself ready. Grab your data pad and head over to the APD station and get changed. We're almost there. Roger that, Captain. I'm on it. Okay, let's have a look. Case number 8776348, Phoenix Operations. Save station offline. One of the power conductors overheated. Should be able to turn it back on and power up your save station some other interfaces. Okay. Oh, little kitty. It's okay, kitty. I'll find you some food. And the data pad. Got my data pad. Awesome. Remember, the default key to use your data pad is Q, unless you change your key bindings, that is. You'll be able to keep track of any or all current objectives, like the one I am sending you now. Uh, press what? Just do it. Oh, and my data pad is on the table in the galley. There's some interesting info on it. Any data from these pads you collect will show up under the log tab in your own data pad. Now, go pick it up. The default key is E. Okay. Um, I'll check it out and head for the APD station. Copy that. Well, that helps. Locked, I 
guess. That's the other cabin. Yep, definitely locked. There we go. Happy kitty cat. Mm, it's supposed to be a data pad in here. Seeing it though. Okay, APD suit room. John, I'm all suited up. All right, Aaron. So the all-purpose design, or APD suit for short, has a number of useful features. Uh, John, I know... When you press the F key, it'll toggle your helmet's flashlight on and off. John? You can also zoom in and out while holding down the Z key. This can be useful if you need to identify objects at a distance. John? Or use it as some super high-tech magnifying glass. Right. Okay, let's move on to the APD suit's most important function, the object scanner. I... I need you to run a quick system check to make sure the object scanner is calibrated properly. Sure, but you realize... There's a note inside this room somewhere with a code on it. I need you to locate and inspect it. A pointer will show up on your HUD whenever you're close to something that you can inspect. You really need a hobby, John. Anyway, I'll go find your note. That looks like the keypad. Okay, something I can inspect. Found it. Good. Now press the R key to turn on the object scanner. Any objects you can interact with will light up, making it a heck of a lot easier for you to detect objects that you can use, such as a computer terminal, keypad, or control panels, for instance. The object scanner can also scan through walls, but it only works on objects that are receiving power. Note that if you run while the scanner is activated, it'll turn itself off. It's a delicate system, after all. Now go and detect the keypad and unlock it. Am I done now? Did I pass the test? With flying colors. Man, what a sight. I know, right? Anyway, head over to the cockpit. Scanners are indicating we're close. Roger that.
the bathroom and my own action figure Just in time, Miss Vance. There she is. Hmm. It's pretty small if you ask me. Yeah, I know. She's an oddity for sure. Picked up anything yet? Not yet. Still running preliminary scans. But since you're here, I'm engaging safety protocols. All doors at the cockpit are locked and setting final approach vector. I've also set up a live feed on that station behind you, so you can check out whatever the scanners will pick up at the monitoring station shortly. Thanks. Hey, John. You remember our first job? You were so off from the coordinates. We spent hours looking for it. Yeah. Turns out you're not so great at adjusting the long-range antenna. This hunk of junk was pretty much duct taped together. It's a wonder anything worked at all. Are you kidding? It's still mostly duct tape. <laughs> yeah, but we had fun. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Anyway, the scans are done. I'm gonna look through this data right now. What you got? Looks like the ship's designated as the SD-01. Hmm. That's a pretty unconventional designation for a ship. Yeah, it usually means it's privately owned. I'm not detecting any life signs on board either. So the crew is... I mean, there are no signs of any humanly remains. She's empty. What? Um, okay, what else? Oh, wow. Hey, Aaron, you ready for this? So I'm running a database check, but I'm not finding any references of an SD-01. On top of that, I have never seen a model like this before. Oh, and here you are always boasting about how you're able to identify each and every ship out there. Hey, every single known ship out there, that is. But yeah, this is what's blowing my mind right now. This definitely must be a privately owned ship. Can't figure out where it came from or who it belonged to. I don't even really know how old it is. Your guess? Without a doubt, not built recently. Even privately owned ships these days must have a database entry. Betting the ship is either from around or shortly after the pioneering era. She must be at least around 50 years old then. So what's she doing all the way out here? I don't know, ma'am. The ship was either lost or... dumped here? We're not really getting much out of these scans, are we? I'm sorry, but she's keeping her secrets to herself. Only way to find out anything is if you board it. What are the risks? Well, I'm not detecting any movement. Ship's integrity seems fine, though, and it looks like life support is still operational. I can interface with the ship's system, but most of it's offline. It seems it's running on backup power. You have to see for yourself if you're able to restore power to, well, anything you can. Well, I need to know what happened to it and its crew, and what it's doing all the way out here. I knew you'd say that. Judging from the ship's design, it seems to just be a dropship. It's not big enough for a prolonged stay in deep space like this. Then that means... That means there's another ship out there somewhere. Another ship? Hey, hey, don't get ahead of yourself. Just focus on this one. We don't even know if the ship's database is still intact. You sure you want to go ahead? John, please. Just want to make sure. 
Docking procedure engaged. Hold on. All right, Aaron. Docking procedure complete. Understood. John, I'm heading down to the airlock. Copy that. Disengaging safety protocols. The elevator door to the airlock is now unlocked. You're good to go. Let's see what other stories she has to tell. Yep, that probably is a good idea. Now I've just got to find one. Oh, there's one. red light and it was green on the other side I have no idea what that did but it's probably good because they're both green now Okay, now the airlock. Ha, <laughs> another safe station, might as well. Spare robot in his alcove. Definitely on the right track. I'm at the airlock. Copy that. Oh, a gun. And I can pick it up. Okay. I'm opening the first door. Copy that. Okay, well that is the end of chapter one. I'll have to wait till our next video to see what happens when we get onto the ship. I hope you've enjoyed the video and see you all next time.